This video is going to be my follow-up review of the Garmin Varia RTL 515. So I did an initial video when I got this five months ago where I unboxed it, I set it up, I gave my initial impressions. So in this video, I wanna talk about my experience of using this for five months and also answer questions that I've gotten on my channel about this. One thing that I mentioned in the first video, which I'll mention here again because it's a real benefit of this, and that is the fact that when I turn my Garmin on, and when I turn my Garmin on and off, I only hit the power button one time. I don't hold it down to do power off. I just put it to sleep. And when I put it to sleep, the light will go off, and when I turn it back on, the light will come on. So if I just tap the power button, the Garmin's gonna come on, and then within about anywhere 15, 20 seconds or so, the light network will form and this will start blinking. I've always used a blinking rear taillight when I'm on the road and I think everybody needs to use a blinking rear taillight, whether you ride in the day or in the night, it's just one of the best safety features you can have on your bike when you're riding on the road. And so there are times when I used to use a blinking rear taillight where I would forget to turn the rear taillight on. In this case, if I just turn the Garmin on, this will start blinking. Now I think when you turn the Garmin completely off, the light will just kind of stay on and then you have to power the light off as well. But when you put it to sleep, so if I just hit the power button one time and turn the Garmin into the sleep mode, then the light will go off. And again, when I tap the power button again to bring it back on, the light will start blinking. One thing that I learned about the Varia after I posted that first video, thanks to a comment on the channel, is that you can put the dots that appear on the screen on the Garmin on the left side. By default, they're on the right side. And if you ride on the right hand side of the road, like we do here in America, it makes more sense to have the dots. And when I say dots, it's the traffic coming up behind you. So you've got dots and the car, as it gets closer and closer, then the dots are going to get more towards the top of the screen. Again, by default, they were on the right side of the Garmin and I put them on the left and I'll show you real quick how to do that. So if you're curious how to do that, all you do is you drag down from the top of the screen, go to settings, go to sensors, tap on the Varia, it's already paired, go to sensor details, go to alert settings, and then you see vehicle column, you can go left or right. So again, I put it on the left. And speaking of the dots on the left or right side of the screen that represent the cars, another thing that's pretty cool about this is it will have a dot for every car behind you. And someone made a comment that it will show up to eight cars behind you. Now, I've not had that happen. The roads that I ride on are kind of country roads where there's not a lot of traffic, but there's been times where I've seen three or four dots behind me which is really cool because you know how many cars are coming up behind you. The Garmin Varia will work in the rain and particularly light rain. There was a time when I was riding in really heavy rain and it was not picking up the cars behind me very well. I was off the road on a bike path and this thing will pick up cars. Like if you're on a bike path that's 10, 15, 20 feet off the road, it'll still pick up the cars coming up behind you, which I guess can be good or bad. but. It was raining super hard that day and it was having trouble picking up the cars behind me, but in light rain, it's not been a problem. Another thing that's pretty cool about the Varia is you can not only pair it to a Garmin like the 1030 or 830 or whichever one that you have, you can also pair it to a Garmin watch. So I have the Garmin Vivo Active 4 and there have been a few times where either my Garmin wasn't charged or maybe I was just relying on the watch, which I do on my mountain bike sometimes when I don't wanna put the Garmin on the bike. I use an 830 for my mountain bike, but there have been times when I've been on the road on the mountain bike, or like I said, maybe the 1030 wasn't charged, I forgot to charge it. I can pair the Varia to my watch. Now the watch does not have a tone. So on the 1030, for example, there is not only the dots on the side of the screen, but there's also a tone, an audible tone, which is really helpful. But on the watch, you can see the cars coming up behind you, but you do not hear a tone, it just vibrates. So uh, you can feel it vibrate. I mean, it, it's not as prominent as if you were to hear an audible tone, but you can feel the watch vibrate and that way you know that a car is coming up behind you. I'll mention one thing that someone said in the comments and that is when they use the Varia and they're riding in a group, if other people don't have one, other people in the group, if they have a Garmin, of course, can also pair to the Varia. So not only will your Garmin pick it up, but if other people in the group have their Garmins paired to it, 
that'll pick it up as well. The Varia will pick up motorcycles coming up behind you, so it's not just cars. It'll also pick up cyclists coming up behind you if they're moving at a faster speed. Now, any vehicle, if it's moving at the same speed you are, whether it's a car, motorcycle, or a bike, the Garmin Varia will not beep or pick them up. But if you've got someone coming up behind you on a bike, um, it'll beep. Like if you want to maybe jump on someone's wheel or put in a little attack if your buddy's coming up behind you and stay away from him, it'll pick them up as well. The Garmin Varia has been extremely accurate for me. I've had no false negatives. In other words, there was a car coming up behind me, but it didn't pick it up. I've had maybe one or two false positives, and that is that it beeped, letting me know that there may be a car behind me and there wasn't one. Again, that's only happened once or twice. So the accuracy and the reliability of the Varia has been very good. So I said in the first video that the Varia was a game changer for me when riding on the road with cars. And I am still going to say that because this is how it helps me. Used to, I would watch my mirror all the time, whether I heard a car coming up behind me or not, because, and I'll talk about this in a minute, there are times when you don't hear a car coming up behind you. And so now what it allows me to do is only focus on what's ahead of me. I might be able to focus better on the scenery around me and then only look down at my mirror. And that's, by the way, another thing I think everybody who rides on the road needs to have a mirror. I, I won't really go into that, but that is another safety feature that I think is really important. So now what it allows me to do is only check the mirror when I hear a car coming up behind me. In other words, when this lets me know. Another thing that it allows me to do, especially on gravel roads, is not feel like I have to ride on the far right side of the road. Now, if you live in a country where you drive on the left side, you'd be the left side of the road, but I don't have to kind of hug the side of the road so much. Even on a paved road, I don't have to stay like right on the white line. I can relax a little bit more. I can kind of drift out into the lane just a little bit. And then when I hear a car coming up behind me, I just move over. So that has been, a, a, again, it's a game changer for me. I wanna address a few comments that were made on the first video about this, where people said that they felt like they don't need this because they can just rely on their ears to hear cars coming up behind them. And I'm not invalidating that, maybe that's true for them. But for me, what I noticed is around 17, 18, and especially above 20 miles an hour, the wind noise in my ears was so high that I could not hear a car coming up behind me until it was almost right next to me. So this will pick up cars about 10 seconds behind me. So if I'm on a road where the speed limit's around 55 miles an hour, what I noticed is when this beeps, I've got about 10 to 12 seconds before the car is next to me. And that gives me plenty of time to move over check the mirror, I watch the mirror the whole time as the cars are coming up behind me to make sure they're giving me enough room. And what I do is on those rare occasions where a car is absolutely not moving over, whether they're a distracted driver or they're just being an idiot, then I will move off into the grass. Now, fortunately, I ride in an area where we have some really nice grass shoulders and there's not guardrails or anything like that, I can just move over into the grass. And I've had to do that a few times, especially if, it, if I've got a semi coming up behind me. So there's one stretch of road that there's a lot of trucks. And fortunately, there's a really nice grass area right off the road. And if I've got a truck coming up behind me and there's another vehicle coming the other way, I will just move off. I mean, I just don't want to deal with a, with an 18 wheeler coming up behind me. So back to that comment of using your ears. Yes, you probably can. But another thing that I noticed is when you've got cars coming towards you, the sound of those cars can drown out the sound of cars coming up behind you. So that's where the Varia is really important. Again, it allows me to relax more. If I don't see or hear cars coming up behind me with this, and there are cars coming the other way, I can focus more on what's in front of me versus checking the mirror and focusing on what's behind me. Before I wrap up this video, I wanna mention something else. And I think I mentioned it in the first video, but that is there is an app that kind of comes up after you pair the Garmin Varia, and that allows you to see the battery level of the Varia. It also allows you to change from solid to flash. And speaking of flash, one thing that I forgot to mention is the flash pattern will change 
when there's a car coming up behind you as it gets closer. Now, it also has a Peloton mode, so not only can you do solid and flash, but there's also a Peloton mode, which I looked it up, and that is it's supposed to have a less intense flash when that Peloton mode is selected so that riders behind you will not be blinded by the flashing light. I have not really tried that. I can't tell you how it works, but I just want to mention that it's there. Now, one last thing that I'll mention, and that is regarding riders behind you. If you have a rider right behind you, the Varia will not pick up the car until it's a couple seconds away because the rider behind you is locking. It'll still pick up the car, but again, if, if that rider is kind of between you and the car, it does block the radar, whereas normally it would pick up the car about 10 seconds behind you. It's more like two or three seconds, so I just want to mention that. That is my follow-up review of the Garmin Varia RTL 515. After using this for five months, I can honestly say this is a very key piece of safety gear for my bike. And listen, I try to ride on dirt as much as possible, whether it's single track or gravel roads, but there are times when I'm riding my mountain bike to the trailhead or I'm trying to link together gravel segments on a long gravel ride. There are times I've gotta be on pavement with cars and being alerted when there's a car coming up behind me I think has really improved my safety. How about you? Have you used this? Do you agree with me on the safety aspect of this? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.